and uh, $1,700. Those are the prices of my Apple products. Now, maybe you might be on level with me. Maybe you spent more than I have. Maybe you just have an iPhone. Either way, if you have an iPhone 10, that's still $1,000. So what do you actually do with your Apple products? Do you use them for everything they could be used for, such as calendar, uh, reminders, so forth, a camera, uh, editing you can do a lot of stuff with your iPhone but most people only use it for Instagram Facebook snapchat texting calling and so forth so I realized that many people don't use their Apple products for all it could be used for because we don't know how to and that is why I'm creating this channel so I can show you how to Apple without the ease So I just want to give you a warm welcome to my YouTube channel, How to Apple. And here I'm going to be showing you how to do everything on your Apple products, whether it be your iPhone, your iPad, your MacBook, your iMac, Apple Watch, whatever the case is, I want you to learn how to use something that you spent thousands of dollars on, if not hundreds of thousands, I mean, well, <laughs> that's a little too much. So the point is, we spent a lot of money on our Apple products. So let's actually learn how to use them. And this channel is gonna help you do that. I'm gonna be posting how-to tutorials, uh, fix-it tutorials, things that go wrong, and you'll be able to find out how to fix it on my channel. I'm going to show you ways to utilize your Apple products to make life easier. Organize your day, uh, remind you of certain things. Siri does a lot of stuff. Uh, how to take the money that you spent and make it actually worth what you spend. So, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, check out some of the videos that I have up here. They'll be useful to you, I'm sure. There are a lot of things that Apple does that we don't even know about, and I'll also be uncovering some of that stuff on this channel as well. For example, uh, did you know that your iPhone, right out of the box, tracks your locations? And it actually logs where you go. And it's it's called significant locations. Now, I don't know, they changed the name, it used to be called frequent locations, and I think that might've got a bad rep, so they changed it, I'm not sure. All I know is that your iPhone, if you have not turned this off, your iPhone is tracking your location everywhere you go, and it actually has it mapped out to locations that you frequently go. And another thing is, you know the little icon right here? That little icon doesn't even show up, and it's on default not to show up whenever Apple tracks your location. So go over to the video and check it out. Turn that mess off if you don't want Apple looking at you. So that's just an example of some of the things that's gonna be on this channel. So anyway, I've done enough rambling on. Subscribe to my channel, comment below on some things that you wanna know, some things that you wanna see on the channel, and uh, let's just learn how to Apple without the E.